Hello friends, Pete the Drummer here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, a couple of years ago, I uploaded a comprehensive how-to video in which I completely disassembled, cleaned and lubricated, reassembled, and upgraded the footboards on my second generation Tama Iron Cobra double bass drum pedal. Well, it's been two years. It's been roughly 230 or so shows. I have a whole bunch of new parts and upgrades. And so, it's time to do it again. Now, since I've already made a video where I went step by step taking this thing apart. I'm not going to do that again. If you have a Tama Iron Cobra pedal and you're looking for a video on how to take it apart so that you can clean it and maintain it and all that stuff, um, I will link the video that I did a couple of years ago down in the description. Please go ahead and watch that video. It's kind of long, even for me, it's kind of long. And the only thing I should point out is I have an older version of the Iron Cobra pedal more than likely you have the newer version. Uh, but the only difference I can see is how the bearings are held in at the top of the bearing support towers. On my older version, there's one little Allen screw at the top of the towers here, and that screw holds in this retaining ring, and that retaining ring is what holds in the bearing. On the newer versions, there's a chrome cap that holds in the bearings, and the chrome cap is easily removed by two screws. As far as I know, that is the only difference between the old version of the Iron Cobra and the newer and currently sold version of the Iron Cobra. Everything in here, how to take all this apart, as far as I know, is completely the same. So the question is, why am I doing this again? Uh, a couple of reasons. First, if you saw that other video, you'll know that I upgraded the footboards on my older pedal with the footboards that are currently sold on the current version of the Iron Cobra. Easily identified by these red bearing, bearing holders. Uh, they fit perfectly fine. The problem is, like I said, it's been a couple of years and and already the hinges are wearing out. Uh, also, my center drive shaft is getting a little squirrely as well. So, like I said and showed you already, I ordered a whole bunch of new parts, including new footboards from ACD Unlimited, new direct drive upgrades from ACD. I went with a trick center connecting shaft and some new bearings from Bones. But we will talk about each of these upgrades as I get to installing them. All right, so keep watching. Here we go. Okay, friends, as you can see, I've got the pedals completely disassembled. Now, the first thing I'm going to upgrade are the bearings. This is one of the six bearings uh, that are stock that came in the pedal. There's nothing wrong with these bearings, um, but when I made the first video, a commenter had suggested replacing these bearings with these Bones Reds. These are for skateboard wheels. I know nothing about skateboards, so I was surprised to find out that basically these bearings that came in the pedal are skate bearings. There is, however, an important difference. The Bones bearings are not sealed. Not only can you see the little bearings, but that little nylon uh, ring is removable uh, so that you can service, clean, and lubricate these bearings. My concern is that dirt and crap is eventually going to build up in these things um, and may cause them to fail. We'll see. I'm going to give them a shot just because they were cheap and... Uh, I want to. This pack of eight Bones Reds skate bearings I got on eBay for only $16. Uh, 
So now it's time to put this whole mess back together. Just watch as I fast forward through the reassembly. Okay, so up next are these longboard footboard replacements from ACD Unlimited. Now, if you're a drummer on social media, you certainly have heard of ACD Unlimited and the guy who runs that company named Dennis. He's from Austria and uh, he sells his own pedal and hi-hat stand called the Darwin. I'm sure you've seen his videos or at least heard of him, seen him on Facebook, whatever. He's doing some pretty... Uh, pretty amazing things. For the Tama Iron Cobra, he sells replacement footboards uh, in a longboard configuration uh, and also the direct drive conversions, which we're going to get to in a minute. Now, full disclosure, these longboards actually came into me maybe about a month ago. And unfortunately, I've already had a problem with one of them. As you can see on this footboard, this bottom hinge here is, is screwed in on the top with these two uh, specialty Torx screws. But I had this one set up on my primary pedal. And as you can see, one of the screws backed out on me uh, on one of my gigs. And of course I lost the screw. It held up through the gig, but as you can see, um, it's, not, it's not secure. So, I uh, emailed Dennis at ACD. I told him what happened, and he was cool enough uh, to send me not not just a replacement screw, but he sent me a few replacement screws. He sent me some extra nylon washers. He sent me an extra piece that it's this piece right here. He sent me an extra one of those, and he sent me the specialty Torx Allen key to tighten everything down, all for free. And from Austria all the way to my house in New Jersey was less than two weeks. So hats off to Dennis. Like I said, his pedals, they look amazing. Um, and certainly from the brief amount of time that I've actually been use, already been using these long boards, they're awesome, they're rock solid. Uh, I was very surprised that this screw backed out and I have no doubt that that is totally unusual. But to prevent that from happening again, I'm going to undo all of these specialty torque screws and I'm going to reattach those with some red high strength thread locker. And for the screws that attach to the stability plates, I'm going to use some medium strength blue thread, thread locker in case I ever need to take these off for whatever reason. So follow along as I do that. So I just took uh, the long board off of the hinge and it turns out that these little parts here where the screws screw into, they're not even held on to the hinge. They just slide right off. They're held in place when you screw the footboard down onto them. And it looks like, I can't tell specifically, but it looks like he uses like white lithium grease to lubricate everything. Okay. So now with the footboards attached, it is time to set up the direct drive conversions. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I've got the direct drives connected to both sides. Now before I go ahead and adjust the cam on the slave pedal, uh, I want to first talk real quick about the new center connecting shaft that I bought, which is from Trick. Now, I went with the Trick version as opposed to uh, ACD's ultimate drive shaft for two reasons. First, the U-joints on the Trick, as you can see, are round. And the ACD version, his U-joints are squared. So... Uh, I'm sure you've seen pictures. Maybe I'll insert a picture of it here. Uh, the reason that was concerning is because the way I set up, I put my slave pedal to the left of my hi-hat pedal, and I was just a little concerned about the squared U-joints possibly hitting or just getting caught up on, you know, the legs of my hi-hat stands or whatever. So... Uh, the second reason I chose the trick over the ACD uh, is because, and I will, I'll put down here the exact numbers, but if I remember correctly, the trick version is about $60 US less than ACD's Ultimate Drive Shift. So that's, that's a good, good amount of money. And let's face it, trick makes great hardware so it's not like I'm going cheap uh, by choosing the less expensive so let's get this connected all right guys well just like that the whole pedal is back together again before I attach this to my bass drum I have to admit I am concerned about this piece right here with the direct drive. I am concerned that this is going to make contact with the head of my bass drum. ACD is clearly aware of that issue because included with the direct drive conversion is this bass drum hoop adapter. The idea is you slide this under your bass drum hoop and it gives you an extra, I don't know, quarter inch of space that to set your pedal back. Let's get it attached and set up with my hi-hat stand and we'll take it from there. Okay guys, well I've got the pedal attached uh, along with my hi-hat. Now as you can see, like I said, I play with the slave pedal to the left of my hi-hat and unfortunately it looks like the direct drive conversion uh, is just not going to work for me. Uh, first off you can see here the direct drive uh, connection here is hitting the head. See it? And over on this side uh, it's getting in the way of my hi-hat stand. All right, guys. Well, that's certainly a bummer. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the chain, which is fine. I'm just going to clean them up with a little WD-40. Otherwise, the chains are in good shape. And also, that means that I am going to put these direct drive conversion linkages up for sale. All right, guys. Well, uh, I've got the pedal pretty much back to where I usually like it. First impressions, uh, pedal feels great. I can't honestly say that I feel a difference from those bearings, but like I said at the top of the video, I don't think there was anything wrong with the bearings that were in there. Uh, I will say though that they fit perfectly. So if you need to replace the bearings in your Tam Iron Cobra, you should be able to get yourself a set of Bones Reds and 
unless there's been some changes to the size of the bearings between my older version and the third or current generation Iron Cobra, then those bearings should fit yours as well. The long boards make a huge difference in how this pedal feels. These are super smooth. There's absolutely no play in the, uh, the hinge at all. There's no side to side motion in the, uh, in the pedals. So that's a big plus. The trick uh, connection rod is awesome. There's absolutely no backlash in the connection rod whatsoever. Uh, it's a bummer that the um, direct drive linkages didn't work out for me, but uh, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.